So I'm going to ask something difficult of you. I'm going to ask that you seek out people in your community who are in need. And I'm going to ask you to try not just to understand them, but to help them. His books changed the way we look at war-torn Afghanistan and its people. At this year's Senior Day Address, author of The Kite Runner and A Thousand Splendid Sons, Haled Hosseini, called on Vanderbilt graduates to take their knowledge and talents and look beyond themselves. And now that you're leaving these walls, I can think of no better way to honor your education and your learning than to use your skills to make this world a better place than what than the way you found it. Because you get to determine the size of your world. Hosseini, this year's Nichols Chancellor's Medalist, moved to the United States from Afghanistan in the early 1980s, just as a Soviet coup was exploding in his homeland. He went to school to be a doctor and practiced medicine while writing in his spare time. But when the kite runner became an international phenomenon, Hosseini knew his true calling had changed. And to me, you know, it's a great honor when readers write to me and say that Afghanistan for them is now more than just you know, the caves of Tora Bora and the poppy fields of Helmand, and that they've come to see Afghanistan as more than just another chronically afflicted, troubled nation. And in these letters, I see the unique ability that art, especially the novel, has to connect people through um, universal human experiences. Hosseini so now runs a foundation, bringing education, food, and shelter to the women and children of Afghanistan. He asked the graduates to think about their unique talents and to give 5% of their time, abilities, or resources to better the world. When you see the difference that you make in other people's world, you become alive to the changes that you can make in your own. And it's a way to be strong, it's a way to be wise, and to know the measure of your own powers. In light of the recent Nashville floods, Hosseini's call for service hit close to home for the graduates and their families. I've seen devastation unlike I've ever seen in my life. I am student teaching right now, so I've had the chance to go to some of my students' houses and help their families take care of all their belongings that were completely demolished. He made me want to go out and do community service right away. Yeah, I felt like he was very inspiring for us to think about our neighbors and our community and things like that. There are so many individuals that are sitting in that audience today that will change the world. And I really think they were prompted a lot by all the variety of interests that can be cultivated here on this campus. And I know that together we'll continue our education in the community of the world where we can see ourselves in fellow human beings, uh, be it uh, in pain or in passion or in hope. And today I'm, I'm honored to consider myself um, part of your community. Thank you so much. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.